Introduction to Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, CJD-CJD, also known as the classic or sporadic form of prion disease, is a rare degenerative neurological disorder that affects the brain. It belongs to a group of conditions called transmissible spongiform encephalopathies, TSEs. CJD is characterized by the accumulation of abnormal proteins called prions, which cause damage to the brain tissue, leading to a rapid decline in cognitive and motor function. In this script, we will explore various aspects of CJD, including its clinical presentation, diagnostic methods, pathological changes, genetic factors, different forms of the disease, management and treatment options, surveillance and reporting, recent research advances, and public health implications. Let's dive into the intriguing world of CJD. CJD was first described by the German neurologists Hans Gerhard Kreutzfeldt and Alphonse Maria Jacob in the 1920s and 1930s, respectively. It is known to occur worldwide, with an estimated annual incidence of approximately 1 to 2 cases per million people. While it primarily affects individuals later in life, there are rare cases of the disease appearing in younger individuals. The exact cause of CJD remains uncertain, but it is believed to involve the misfolding and aggregation of the prion protein, resulting in the activation of a cascade of pathological events leading to neuronal death. It is essential to differentiate between the different forms of CJD, including sporadic, familial, variant, and iatrogenic forms, as they have distinct etiologies and clinical presentations. The clinical manifestations of CJD can vary depending on the affected brain regions. Common symptoms include progressive dementia, rapid cognitive decline, memory loss, personality changes, and impaired movement coordination. As the disease progresses, patients may also experience myoclonus, which are involuntary jerking movements, as well as visual disturbances, ataxia, and speech difficulties. These symptoms typically worsen over weeks to months, leading to severe disability and ultimately death. It is crucial to recognize these clinical signs early on to facilitate timely diagnosis and intervention. Diagnosing CJD can be challenging due to its heterogeneity and the similarity of symptoms to other neurological disorders. However, certain diagnostic criteria and investigations can aid in the identification of this condition. Clinical evaluation, including a detailed medical history and neurological examination, is crucial for assessing the pattern and progression of symptoms. Neuroimaging techniques, such as magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, can reveal characteristic changes in the brain, such as cortical atrophy and hyperintensities in specific regions. Additionally, cerebrospinal fluid analysis, electroencephalography, EEG, and genetic testing can provide supportive evidence for CJD diagnosis. In some cases, brain biopsy or postmortem examination may be necessary for definitive confirmation. Histopathological examination of brain tissue remains the gold standard for accurately diagnosing CJD. The postmortem analysis reveals microscopic changes, including spongiform degeneration, neuronal loss, gliosis, and the accumulation of abnormal prion protein aggregates. These pathological features are most prominent in specific brain regions, such as the cerebral cortex, basal ganglia, and thalamus. The severity and distribution of these changes contribute to the heterogeneity observed in different subtypes of CJD. While most cases of CJD are sporadic, approximately 10 to 15% of cases have a familial or genetic basis. Mutations in the PRNP gene, which provides instructions for the production of the prion protein, have been identified in familial cases. These mutations alter the structure of the prion protein, making it more prone to misfolding and aggregation. The inheritance pattern can be autosomal dominant or, less commonly, recessive. Genetic testing can help identify individuals at higher risk of developing CJD and may aid in counseling and prevention strategies for affected families. VCJD is a distinct form of CJD that gained significant attention during the 1990s due to its association with the consumption of bovine products contaminated with the abnormal prion protein responsible for bovine spongiform encephalopathy, BSE, commonly known as mad cow disease. This variant form of CJD primarily affects younger individuals and exhibits a different clinical and pathological profile compared to sporadic CJD. The characteristic features of VCJD include psychiatric symptoms, prominent sensory disturbances, and a prolonged disease course. The link between VCJD and BSE raised concerns about potential zoonotic transmission and led to significant changes in public health measures and food safety regulations. Iatrogenic CJD refers to cases where the disease is transmitted through medical procedures or exposure to contaminated materials. Examples include the use of contaminated surgical instruments, corneal transplantation, and administration of human-derived growth hormone derived from infected individuals. 
iatrogenic cases are relatively rare but underscore the importance of stringent infection control measures and adequate screening of medical products to prevent disease transmission. Prion diseases are not limited to humans, they also affect animals. BSE is one of the most prominent prion diseases in animals, primarily affecting cattle. Ovine prion disease, also known as scrapie, is prevalent in sheep and goats. Additionally, several other prion diseases have been identified in various animal species, including chronic wasting disease, CWD, in cervids and feline spongiform encephalopathy in cats. The study of these animal prion diseases provides valuable insights into their transmission, pathogenesis, and potential risks to humans. Currently, there is no cure for CJD, and treatment focuses on managing symptoms and providing supportive care. Multidisciplinary approaches involving neurologists, palliative care physicians, psychologists, and other healthcare professionals are essential for addressing the complex needs of CJD patients. Pharmacological interventions aim to alleviate symptoms such as myoclonus, psychiatric disturbances, and sleep disturbances. Physical and occupational therapy may help optimize motor function and maintain quality of life. Voluntary participation in clinical trials and research studies is crucial for evaluating potential therapeutic interventions and advancing our understanding of the disease. Given the rarity of CJD, accurate surveillance and reporting systems are critical for monitoring disease incidents, identifying outbreaks, and implementing appropriate public health measures. National and international surveillance networks collaborate to collect comprehensive data on CJD cases, including demographic information, clinical characteristics, and laboratory findings. Surveillance also facilitates the timely identification of novel prion strains or atypical presentations, highlighting the dynamic nature of this disease. Advancements in technology and collaborative research efforts have contributed significantly to our understanding of CJD. Scientists are investigating novel diagnostic biomarkers, such as cerebrospinal fluid proteins, prion protein seeding assays, and neuroimaging markers, to improve early detection and tracking of disease progression. Research is also focused on unraveling the underlying pathogenic mechanisms, searching for potential therapeutic targets, and developing experimental treatments. Close collaboration between basic scientists, clinical researchers, and industry partners is essential for driving innovation in CJD research. The public health implications of CJD extend beyond individual patients. With the potential for zoonotic transmission from animal prion diseases, stringent measures are in place to prevent the spread of infection in both animal and human populations. Public education regarding food safety and prudent measures in animal husbandry play a vital role in minimizing the risk of transmission. Furthermore, public health agencies collaborate to create surveillance networks, disseminate guidelines, and implement policies to ensure prompt reporting, accurate diagnosis, and appropriate infection control procedures. In conclusion, Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, CJD, is a complex and fascinating disorder with various presentations and underlying mechanisms. Despite its rarity, the impact of this devastating disease on affected individuals, families, and public health cannot be underestimated. Continued research, early diagnosis, improved surveillance, and global collaboration are crucial for advancing our understanding of CJD, developing effective therapies, and implementing public health measures to mitigate the impact of this disease. As future healthcare professionals, it is essential to remain informed and vigilant about CJD and its broader implications.